to art. It's good to have all of you here. This week, our theme for our artwork is all about home, and we're gonna do some pop-up art. We're gonna do some drawing this week. We haven't done drawing in a long time, and in the end, you will have a really cool pop-up room. I'm so excited. You can choose if your room is gonna be a replica of a room in your house or the room that you sleep, or maybe it's an imaginary room, a room that you wish you had or you had in your dreams. Maybe it's a room in a movie or a TV show that you think is so cool from your favorite characters and you recreate that one instead. It could be fun. But each room is, I'm gonna show you how to make some pop-ups so that things are actually sticking out and your bed is sticking up. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna have fun with that this, this week. What you need to do this is one piece of paper, any kind of paper. It can even be a, um, a piece of mail with ads on the back. It doesn't matter. It could be white or colored or anything. One side is probably best to be white so that we can add some drawing. You are going to need a pencil for sure to test some drawings out. And then whatever coloring materials you like. Maybe that's paint, maybe that's markers, maybe that's crayons. I got all kinds of goodies. I have markers and crayons, that's what I've been using. Um, you're also gonna need some scissors because we have some cutting to do to do the pop-ups. And you're gonna need some patience. So get ready, some of this is tricky. When I do the um, tutorial, I would encourage you to watch it once the whole way through and then go back and do it with me if you need to, pausing it as I do the different steps. That way you don't get too confused as you go. It can be pretty, tricky, but very fun. I can't wait to make it with you. Okay, so to get started, we have a little bit of folding to do. So you're gonna take your rectangle piece of paper and you are going to fold it in half laptop style. So make sure that you fold it down and match up those corners at the bottom. Make sure that you really take your time, line everything up, and then push your finger to the middle and across. Crease it nice and tight. You can even use the back of your fingernail to crease it really good. All right. Once we have our laptop style crease, we can open up. Blah, 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 Typing on my laptop, online learning. Anyway, open it up. Now we get to start drawing. Use your pencil so you can erase anytime you want. And first we're going to start drawing below the crease. We're going to leave the top part till the end. So start below the crease. What I'm going to do first is draw my bed. The top of my bed is going to go right on the crease line. Not above, not below, right on the line. And then I'm going to make parallel lines down to be my rectangle for my bed. Now, you can decide you might want a headboard, that thing that goes behind and touches the wall, um, whatever shape or design you might want. I'm gonna make mine a half circle. And then any extra details or designs you might want. Mine has stripes, cool. Then I'm gonna put some pillows, they're like rectangles. And I'm drawing all kinds of cool details that are kind of bed-like. If I put two lines there, it'll look like your comforter is tucked in. And then add some patterns. Maybe on this one, I want to have big swirls as the pattern of my comforter. Once you have some cool details, the final detail for our bed that we need to have to make it a pop-up is legs at the bottom. And our legs, we want them to V out slightly, not go straight down. So it V's out and then it's sort of a rectangle that sticks out to the side. So this one is gonna V out the other way. That's helpful for when we have to pop it up later. Then um, you can add side tables, which are kind of cool, maybe a desk or, um, a side table by the bed. I'm gonna make the top of the side table right on the crease, just like before. Make a rectangle top that I might put something on later. And make some legs for my table and a drawer. I'm gonna put a little handle there. And then I'm gonna put another one on this side. Maybe this one's a little bit bigger. Put some legs. Ooh, I'll put two drawers. 
fancy so you can change it up you can do yours however you choose i like doing two side tables because then i can put things on it at the end so once i have my bed and my side tables then it's time for details you can put anything in it that you want maybe you want a rug my one had that i made has a rug maybe you want to put things in the background on the wall if i stand it up like this this will be the wall behind my bed. So I could put windows. If you look at my example, I have windows here. I made a little shelf. I put a picture on my shelf. There's a plant, a dinosaur stuffed animal. Here's a mirror. You can even put things on your side tables if you want. I put an aquarium over here with three little orange fish and a light. So it's up to you to add any details that you want. So take some time and add your details. is done and I have so many details. I have my fancy bed, my rug, I put picture frames, a piggy bank, I have some flowers and plants, some pictures on the walls and in bookshelves. Here's some decorations I drew and there's even two windows with clouds because it's a beautiful day outside and a little birdie that came to say hi. Oh and a lamp. So as many details as you want. I think it's fun to make artwork sometimes like an eye spy where you have to find all sorts of cool things inside of it. Then let's make it cartoony by outlining it in black. I'm ready. Time to make it a pop-up. So now that I've outlined, I can see everything and it's ready to do some cutting. So the parts we have to cut, it's very simple. I have another example here to show you. Oops. So what we are going to cut. So here's an example of another room that I made. You can see there's so many different things that you can do um, in your rooms. But what you are gonna cut is where I have highlighted here in yellow. They're the only cuts that you're gonna make are the ones from the crease. Remember our original crease that we have right here when we fold our paper laptop style? You are gonna fold, you're gonna cut from that crease down the side of your bed and down the little foot and stop at the bottom of the foot. And then you're going to make a matching symmetrical line on the other side as well. Then if you have nightstands or tables, you are going to cut from the original crease down the sides to the bottom of the legs of the table. So you see how you always go crease to bottom of the leg, crease to bottom of the leg, and same on this one, crease to bottom of the leg. To do that, it might seem a little bit tricky, but how do you get your scissors in there? What you're gonna do is kinda just do a loose fold somewhere in the center, and then do a snip with the edges of your scissors. And then I'm gonna come to this side, just a little snip. I'm gonna loosely fold it, not crease it, or make it tight, snip. Okay, and then once I have these little snips, I can get my scissors in and go up. Now you have to stop at the original crease where you folded your paper in half. Don't go the whole way around or you'll cut your bed out of your paper. And then I'm gonna take it and go down and go along the feet. Make sure you go along the feet. That's an important part that's helpful with folding later. Take your time. This can be a little tricky. It feels a little funny to cut a slice in the middle of a piece of paper, but just take your time, try not to rip it. And then do it again for your two end tables.
All right, my cutting part is finished. I don't need any scissors anymore. Now it's time to fold it to make it a pop-up. So to do that, I have this original picture over here to help you see. There are two different kinds of folds. There's outer folds that we're gonna do that will pop out, and then there's creases that will bend just like our bend of the center of our paper. It bends in. So you'll start with your bed, and at the bottom, the foot of your bed, the bottom of it, not the actual feet, but the edge of the bed, you're gonna grab it and fold towards you like a little pinchy mountain fold at that bottom line of your bed. Once you have that, you're gonna fold it over to line up with the bottom of the feet where they touch the table and do a crease fold, one that goes in like a valley, like that, and crease it flat. That will make your bed pop up. Pretty cool, right? So now I'm gonna do the same thing with my side tables. The, the bottom of the side table itself, the flat part where things sit, I pinch it and do that little mountain fold like that. And then where my feet touch the ground, just like the bed, I'm gonna fold it forward and crease, pressing it from the back. Same thing over here, the edge of my table crease it like a mountain, pinching it up, and then folding it like a mountain, sorry. And then I crease where the feet touch the floor. And then, boys and girls, you can see it stands up. Pretty cool, right? So now, let's do it to this without the color coding. So remember, with the foot of my bed, this long line right here at the very edge. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm going to do a little mountain fold with that line of my bed right at the peak of the mountain. And then I pinch it. Now the crease, imagine this invisible dotted line right here at the bottom where the feet touch the floor. And I'm gonna fold the bed forward. It's getting a little crinkly here, but that's okay, I'm not gonna worry. Fold it forward. And now my bed will stand up. Um, cool. All right, side table time. So where the table top comes to an end right here, I'm gonna pinch that and make that mountain fold. Yoink. And you'll notice I'm pressing really hard so it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to crease it at the feet where it touches the table. So I kind of hold my fingers right above that and bend it forward. I'm pinching on either side of the leg and then I slide my fingers behind to press that to crease. Cool. Next side, last one and then it's ready. I'm gonna pinch the mountain fold that's the top of my table and then crease at the feet so it can stand up. Pinch the sides. Fold it forward. This is the trickiest part, doing the crease, I think. But it might feel really funny at first, but I promise you'll get better at it as you go. All right, then I just gingerly use my patient fingers and make sure that these extra edges are pushed back and away and that my room stands up. Make sure the original crease, it might need some help. Creasing that forward. Crease that forward, just like I folded it in half laptop style. Just check that. <gasps> and ta-da! I have a pop-up room. How cool. So now take some time and add some color. The more color you add, the more exciting it gets. And you know me, I don't like extra white space. So make sure you color in your wall. I love yellow, my favorite color is yellow. So my wall color for my room is yellow. Add maybe colors for your rug. I forgot to paint color in my floor, but I have to do that. Color is key. Can't wait to see them. So remember, take a picture, upload it either in Padlet or send it to me when you submit your assignment. I can't wait to see your cool 3D cartoon.